Okay, it's April and it is National Poetry Month. And I have a big confession to make. Poetry, I find it intimidating and it kind of scares me because, you know, it's something I think of that's for intellectuals. And my friend Holly is here to tell me and, and tell us that poetry is for everyone. And Holly, help me out. Why is poetry for everyone? You know, this is such an important question. And so many people come to poetry with similar reservations as you were thinking it's for intellectuals, it's, you know, for academics. I mean, I don't, I mean, unless you're trying to read, you know, Beowulf in Old English, I don't really think that that's true of at least contemporary poetry. I can completely understand people reading, you know, some Renaissance poetry or, you know, some of the old, much older poets and being like, I have no idea what they're saying. But I mean, you have no idea what they're saying because they're not speaking the same language as us anymore. Language evolved. I, I really encourage people who think they don't like poetry to just pick up some contemporary uh, poets. You know, Canadian's great, but works in translations are great. Just pick up poets and look at it the way you'd look at music that you wouldn't just listen to one singer, one songwriter, one band and be like, oh, I don't like this poem, therefore I don't like music, you'd find something you like. Um, there's, you know, certain styles and genres of music that aren't really my thing, but that doesn't have me sitting here saying, well, I dislike all music then. That's just a really, you know, kind of impulsive uh, reaction to art. And I mean, I think everyone does love poetry. I think everyone does need it in their lives. And I say need it because I was recently at a funeral and I was sitting there thinking, wow, you know, everyone questions the you know, importance of poetry in our life. But when we're at weddings, when we're at funerals, what are people reading? Poetry. You've got W.H. Auden in there, you know, for, you know, the funeral, his funeral poem. You know, you've have Rumi, you know, you have all these people, you know, um, you, you know, you're reading the prophet at weddings. You have it inserted in baby shower cards, like at these very important important, critical, you know, glorious and sad and tragic moments in our lives, what do we turn to? Poetry. And so when people are like, oh, you know, what is poetry? We don't need poetry as a society or, you know, they don't understand the importance of poetry. I'm like, well, you do. You do. You just, you know, I don't think people are like, uh, I'll, some people are obviously poets certainly are but I think maybe the general public isn't realizing that you know you don't need to just read a poem at a funeral um, because times are hard and poetry has this way of accessing kind of the raw sentiment and ether of human experience that no other in my opinion art form can do and that's why we read it in these moments of extreme happiness extreme sadness I mean but the truth is you can there's poetry is for every day. I mean, we have moments of happiness and sadness in every day and poems can get us through every single day. It's not that you have to sit down and read a collection of poems every day, but you're know, always having a poem in your backpack, in your purse, in your car that you can just dip into. Now and then it's kind of like revisiting your favorite songs on, I mean, I guess no one listens to CDs anymore, but <laughs> like I would have, um, listening to your favorite songs again, because they make you feel things. And so of course, poetry is for everyone. I think maybe the way that we're uh, introduced to it, and uh, maybe if we're introduced to poets that we just don't connect with, especially if we're learning like Keats in grade nine, and for the record, I love Keats. But let's say that learning Keats in grade nine, that is maybe a lot to put on a young brain, you know, Keats slowly dying <laughs> and being very morbid. And I mean, that appealed to me, but that is not going to appeal to everybody, especially because the language is almost inaccessible now. It wasn't that long ago, but the way that people wrote and spoke then is not now. So it's kind of like you're trying to translate as you read, but then you pick up contemporary poets, you know, the poets uh, you had on your show last year, you know, Jake Byrne and Patchwork Montessori, you, you know, Dick MacArthur Mooney, Michael Frazier, Shanice Jean Muhammad, I mean, Michael Ondaatje, people know who Ondaatje is, you know, Paul Vermeesh, there are no, uh, Tyler Pennock, there are no shortage of incredible poets and all different voices, all different techniques, you can't lump us all in the same 
this is what poetry is. So I think people just need to like unclench when they go into poetry, go to your library. You don't even have to buy it. Just go to your library, request collections if you don't see them and then just go through them and you will find these like tiny morsels of cosmic goodness to help get you through your life. Not just the funerals and the weddings and the births, but just life. Because I mean, I think we all need more cosmic goodness to get through life. Everything's pretty ick right now. <laughs> it's, yeah, ick is the perfect way of describing it. Like seriously. Okay, Holly, I am unclenching and Thank you. I've never really thought of it that way. You know, like as a, a reader, like there's all types of fiction books that I love. And I never really thought of poetry as being the same way. You know, there's something for everyone. And that's such a great way of framing it. So I'm starting to feel very exciting, very excited. And for our viewers out there, you're going to have to come back on April 17th because Halle is kind enough to join me as my co-host for an all about Canadian books poetry reading. I have Courtney Bates Hardy, Patrick Grace, Helen Chang Richardson, and Allie Duff will be in the house. <laughs> so we'll look forward to seeing you. And Halle, thank you so much for, for being my uh, my uh, Poetry is for Everyone guest today. Oh, I am thrilled to bring people over to, I wasn't going to say the dark side. That's uh, yeah. not always. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to, the, to, the, to the poetry side. <laughs> yeah, come yeah, on over. <laughs> well, I can feel I'm moving over right now. So we'll see everyone soon. Thank you so much. Thank you.